Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum, where today we're focusing on the pink and yellow one. And I don't mean the transit, even though I've not actually seen that. Yeah, okay, well it's outside, but I've not really paid much attention. We're actually on about this one for once, which is quite a shock for me. Yeah, because- I'm taking this out. This is the uncomfortable, loud, brash, shouty one. But we are yes. heading to Gad Tuning to go and find out how much horsepower the STO makes. Do you know what? I don't really care about the number, if I'm honest with you. It's loud, it's shouty, it's brash, as you've just rightly pointed out. And I think, regardless of what the number says at the end, we're going to get to hear a V10 at full chat redline in seventh gear today, because we have the opportunity to do that on the dyno. Yeah, which is super exciting, but we do get a number. Do we do get a number, but we get loads of V10 noises. Of course. Do you have a number in your head? Um, I do. I'm, I'm going to be slightly optimistic, I think, actually. I'm going to go 635. I'm going to say this is going to go a couple horsepower over. Okay, I actually have be. no idea, to be honest. I saw Tim and yourself put some messages in our group Tim, chat. Tim with... guessed 628, which, yeah. I've got no clue. having spoken to Anthony at GAD, it's probably not a bad guess. However, we'll see what numbers do come out at the end of the day. We also have a guest. Okay, not today. We had a guest which I guess we're going to throw back to, because as you may have seen in one of the previous videos, the SLS, well, it developed a little bit of a piddle, which it was spewing out a yellowy liquid, I guess, well, obviously a liquid that had not quite a water consistency, but not quite an oil consistency either. Yeah, those puddles so, you saw in the previous video that Tim and myself had a look yeah. at. We're going to find out exactly, well, I said we're going to, we found out exactly what they are. So let's rewind back now. We had Steve from Avant Garde come down to, he's the expert with this stuff. He understands yep. this car better than we do. And he's had a, a proper look. So let's rewind back to that. And then we can come back and get into the STO. So last time you saw this, it was running perfectly well. You'd spent months, many months, let's be honest, on getting this thing just as it should be. And now it appears to have a slight leak. Yes. So I guess I should probably look at pulling this one forward and see if it does the same thing again. And then you're going to pull it apart and try and figure out what it is. Yeah. So just to give a bit of background, the leak that we yeah. that was discovered yeah. um, looks like fuel, possibly oil, okay. but with a watery base. Yes, it's so very, it, it's quite watery. I'd say there's like a two or three percent oil consistency, not much smell. Yeah yellowy kind of in color so yeah yeah luckily i don't think it's transmission fluid obviously no. that would be a very different color which would be quite a worry but so we're thinking maybe fuel related possibly possibly so okay yeah we can rule out certain things like yep. air conditioning water because yep. that is literally like water and obviously yes. i had a i had a video video call with tim and yep. we went through a range of possibilities so here i am okay let's get it out and let's have a look Jump ahead a little bit and we have the car up in the air on some jacks and underneath we have Steve who I'm going to try and join you. We have a bit of a diagnosis. Yeah, well... Bad news? No, not bad news at all. So the only leak which we can see dripping on the floor is from the exhaust system, both sides. So this exhaust obviously is a custom exhaust. Uh, normally you'd have some form of resonator just here perhaps which has been deleted because this pipe that goes across here is not, not, a, not genuine, it's aftermarket. And there's two big metal band clamps where it goes in both sides and both band clamps are dripping quite a bit. Now that drip is just condensation, it's just water. Um, but obviously it's, it will be visible. Now it's got a bit of a yellow tinge when it drops on the floor and, uh, and a little bit of a film. The only thing I can think of that that might be is where the car is cleaned outside and then just put straight away with no real driving and the um, detergent or uh, the, the cleaner that is used is cr just running backwards down into the exhaust sitting there for a good period of time. Yeah. It drips out when the engine's then started and it, it comes, the, the exhaust starts to get rid of its condensation again, leading to what you might think would be an oil leak because it does look quite oily when you see it on on the floor yep. so it's a bit of a, red, a bit of a red herring really um, 
but nothing to, to be overly concerned about. I've just checked all the brake lines, um, all of the transmission um, that's back here. Uh, we've already replaced the drive shaft once before of this side, so I've just checked both both boots again to make sure it wasn't any form of drive shaft grease. It was maybe getting hot and then dropping onto the floor, but there's no signs of anything to be overly concerned about. So pretty happy that you can carry on driving this. Well, that is good. Well, thank you for coming all this way. To, You're welcome. I'm gonna to, yeah come out for roll out. Yeah, thank you for coming down to have a look. I know you said luckily you were in the area anyway, so yeah. it's not too much of a journey to make, but. Yeah, at least we know the SLS is in good condition and yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's how we all yeah. feel. Sorry, what, Steve. Nah, you're welcome. Uh, the primary concern, obviously, we've done a lot of work on this car. Yeah. So we just didn't want to make sure that there was nothing that has, that has gone wrong from that or yeah. anything else that's maybe developed since you've had it back. Yeah. But also when you see fluid on the floor, it can be a safety related issue. Yes. Um, what would it, what could it have been if it was brake fluid, for yeah, example? That could um, have been a big disaster. It would have been a disaster yeah. because it did look quite yellowy like it, brake fluid does. Yes. And of course, brake lines run the, the chassis, through the chassis of the car. Yes. So where you may see it on the floor may not necessarily, may be where the leak is as well. Okay. So the, the rule of thumb is you did the right thing. Um, and if you ever get any leaks on any car and you see it on the floor, yeah. it's always best to get them checked. And this is why if you have something a bit special, make sure you give Steve a call because this is the level of service you get. This isn't just because it's us. This would happen for any customer. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, let's put this away. And there we go. Slight head in hands moment. Turns out we just washed the car and everyone in the comments was right that it was just water from last time it was washed. Although not under the under tray, but hiding in the exhaust. And as Steve said, we did make the right call in. I'm not panicking about it, but certainly being... Cautious. Asking a question, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the SLS is okay. It's ready to go out more. Um, yes. So now that we've had some V8 noises, I guess it's time we head over here. I happen to have somewhere a key in my pocket. I guess we should go and get some V10 noises. I just want to point out if you can even hear me over this. But yes, it's still dirty. This thing is absolutely filthy still, covered from our, one of our previous trips. It needs to be cleaned up at some point, but that will happen. There's no point doing it today because the roads are dirty, icy. Yeah, that is ridiculously loud. Dirty, icy, muddy, slushy, the roads are horrible. So yeah, right now there's absolutely no point in doing this because it's just gonna get even worse. But I guess we should head out onto the road and go and get some V10 goodness. Look at this weather. You can tell it's frosty and icy out, but clear blue skies, I mean, sun shining. It is getting warmer though. We're up to two and a half degrees on the uh, on the display now, which when we left the barn was 0 0.5, so. Yeah, it's getting warmer. Not that it's gonna get much warmer, but it's getting warmer. No, but we are heading towards the Burnham Bend, so I'm hoping it gets warm enough to use a little bit of what this car has, because naturally those are a really enjoyable set of bends and it would be nice to get a little bit out of this, right? This video is basically just full of V10 the whole day. Yeah. Obviously, this is the start. We're about to get some wicked stuff once we get to the dyno. More of that. But that's not bad. No, that's really not bad. Let me uh, pop the window back up there. That's really not bad at all. Welcome to the Burnham Benz. And I think we're actually on them properly this time. And I'm just going to let Tom concentrate and drive because we've got 600 and something horsepower. We'll find out exactly what that is soon behind us going to the rear wheels in well it's the car saying four degrees so it's definitely cold we're not gonna have much warmth in the tires because we haven't been pushing it we've just been driving but some lovely roads to listen to this lovely engine scream we have an aventador was that an sv i mean it was an svj no sv sv Sorry, i yes. think it was yeah aventador SV going past. The little flash of the Lambo acknowledgement, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he was flashed. We gave him a wave. It's, um, yeah, it's cool to see we're not the only Lambo silly enough to come out in this weather today as well. Although at least he has four wheel drive. That's true. That is very true. So we're not far from Anthony's. Gant tuning. So yeah, we'll join you guys, I think, when we arrive, unless we see any more Lambos. <laughs> there is literally <laughs> another one. This makes no. <laughs> there you go. Sense. Flash of acknowledgement again from both of us. 
Lambo theme day, eh? What's going on? This is fun. This do is you, so fun. Do you think Anthony has told a All local the Lambo Lambo club that we're coming <laughs> and as a result, everyone has now come out with their Lambos. They're just doing a quick lap before. Maybe, who knows? This is cool. Because we are early at the moment. So it's possible Anthony's not there yet and everyone's come and who knows? I'm sure I'm probably making that up, but we'll find out in about three minutes. And here we go. And we have arrived in true Tom style, making sure everyone knows we're here. Of course. Just coming around the corner, we do have said SV that we saw on the way. Anthony, well, Tom was right. Anthony must have basically said to everyone, come to Gatunin, we've got the Lambos out. And here we are, Aventador SV in a lovely red. This is really, really nice. So on one side, we've got V10 going into the workshop. The other side, we've got the V12 reversing back down here to come and park up. Just Lambos everywhere. This is gonna be a pretty cool day. Now the SV isn't going onto the dyno, it's just come down to, come down for the day. It's a local car to, to Gatunin, so he's come down just to, hang out I think while we're playing around with this silly noisy very very dirty thing sorry Tim but it looks good dirty it does look very good dirty and into Gatuni it goes look at the front it was once Viola Bass now it's Viola Brown <laughs> Yeah, that's loud. We've got an M5 turn up as well, <laughs> just to join the lineup. Yep, yeah, that, that actually hurt my ears, but pretty cool. M5, Aventador SV, and then inside, Hurricane STO, and whatever that is. <laughs> this place is just like noisy car heaven. Time to pop this one up into the Gad Tuning Dino cell to find out what power it's going to make. It is dyno time. Look how aggressive this thing looks. Just front end, all the aero, all the rads down the bottom here. And then at the back, obviously, huge wing. This is so cool. And it's gonna sound pretty epic too. But we're all strapped down. Pretty much ready to go. Just need to close up the cell, get the fans running, and then we're good to make some V10 noise. <laughs> Okay, so I'm inside the diner with Anthony. Welcome back onto the channel. Hello, everyone. Take that on, see if it gives you a bit more light. That's just very neutral. We're making some good noise in there. All the noise. All the noise. You cannot beat a V10. Um, rear wheel drive, dual clutch, Lamborghini, all the aero. What's not to love? What is not to love? So yeah, the guys have kindly brought it down just for me to run it up on the rollers. No one has run one of these in the UK um, on a dyno yet. Not, yeah, that I've, not, that, not that I've been able to find. A few in America, obviously a few in Dubai, places like that, but none here. So it was more of a more of a technical exercise for me yeah. <laughs> than, than anything else. Yeah, yeah. I messaged the guys and just said uh, dyno STO question mark, and they said Saturday. And I said, yes. Yes, we're coming. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now we're here. And now we're here, yeah. So, so just making all the right noises. Should we do a little hit? So we should we do a run, yeah. Yeah, inside the cabin. Are right, you ready? Let's do it. The V12's good as well, but there is something about the V10. It's just, it just screams motorsport. It's just amazing. That's our first run done, which sounded sounded nuts from inside. Um, and from out here, I'm sure it sounded even better. We're gonna try a run at some point with the lights off, since we can capture some flames coming out the back. Can't guarantee it, but if it gets warm enough, I'm sure we'll hopefully be able to see something. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ventador SV is off. What a lovely looking car. Lovely looking thing. That sounds pretty good. More it importantly, does. we finished all the runs now. Anthony's just done strapping the SCO. Yes. And we have some numbers, which we'll get to in a second, I think, with Anthony, so we can run us through what he's found. Yeah, annoyingly, I don't really want to go through those numbers because, yeah, doesn't reflect well on my guests and reflects very, very well on someone else's. Typically. Yeah. It's always yeah. the way, right? Although, did you say that, though? When we came with the C63, Tim was very wrong on his guess. That sounds good. <laughs> wow. Tim was very wrong on the guess in the C63. He was quite out on the Clio V6. So, actually... I'm just listening to that V12. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, he's got one. Yeah, he might have one pretty bad. He's got one. one. Yeah. yeah. So, um, our man Anthony is here, so we should probably... Do we, do we have over. some numbers ready? Uh, we don't have numbers ready yet. We don't, okay. We don't. We'll, I'm, we'll still, I'm, strap, I'm still unstrapped. Okay, we'll yeah, come we'll back to yet. you. And she's off, which means now we can probably get some numbers now it's off this. Yes, yes. I'm hoping Anthony's now prepared things and... Um... Do, do we have numbers ready yet? Not yet. Not yet, still not yet. We're, we're coming, we're coming, I promise. Anthony hasn't yet given us the numbers and he's just printed the sheet off and run away with it to go and laminate it because we've not seen the results of his final runs and normally we are fairly yeah. aware of and what's going on. And he's got a fancy new laminator so he wants us to have yes. a nice fancy laminated one. So he's gone off to laminate the dyno run and it, he's closed the, and I was trying to find, yeah, I don't know which one it is that opens it so I could We cheat won't, we won't find it. Can we hit reprint on the printer? Ooh. Let's be patient, it'll be back. Yes, let's, let's. And meanwhile we have breakfast on the way as well so. Oh, oh look. You're not messing with my computer, yeah? No. No, no, definitely not touching the computer, Anthony. Is this, this is, this this is, is it. laminated oh, look sheet. Yeah. Fancy. The latest bit of technology. Now, what we're, saying is we're, normally, we're normally fairly aware of what's going on throughout the runs, but you have hidden the last couple yeah. from us. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know yeah. what it, you know, I know it made a figure, but I don't know, has it gone, well, has it made more than see, what I last know? It made, it's made more than what you last know. Okay, that's Every good Every time news. me and Brad ran it, every run, she was settling in, making more, making more, yeah. making more, making more, making more. So you said 685. I did. You said 631. We've gone oh, six you, you've gone no, in the middle. We, I've gone bang in the middle, 631.5. Right, okay. Tim said 628. 628. So he, yeah, he's just gone, I'll just go in the middle. Go in the middle, yeah. okay. Safe option. It did. Six. Well, we know it begins with a six. Yeah, six. Three. Two. Two. Oh, I'm out. Seven. 0.8. So Tim oh my. was 0.17 of a horsepower out. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. That. You know when never. It was that. It was that last run, and it did that, and I was like, that's why I was like, right. Tim's like a fraction of a horsepower out of guessing. Can you do oh. one more? Can you do another? <laughs> just get it to. <laughs> yeah. How does what, Tim I'll just print a different plot off? I don't get it. How does Tim just get things so like I don't, perfect? But like, in fairness, this is the first dyno guess that he's got that close. Let's say the C63 yeah. was quite out. The, the Clio, he was, I think, about 20 horsepower out. Yeah, and the race. Everyone was quite out. And, yeah. I mean, I was... Oh, no, you were. Yeah, yeah, you were fairly close. fairly, fairly close. close. Um, but with yeah. this, again, I've been slightly optimistic, yeah. I guess. The um, last Evo I had in, which is also 640 PS, which yeah. is like 630 horsepower, Yes, that did 629. So pretty much. So like a on. couple of horsepower, yeah. that's a fraction of a percent out of what manufacturers claim, which and is well within the boundaries of what a dyno reads, high, low, etc. etc. It was very impressive for something NA, right? Without turning a supercharger. 100%. So to make that power consistently on mm -hmm. a number of different vehicles in, I'm guessing, and not look the at same it. conditions. Linear. Linear. Yeah, it's Just, really it is always making and out. And what's that, Nusimisas? 610, strong on torque. It's really strong on torque. What, what but do they you look see? at? I don't actually know. I don't know. 580 Newton meters, are they? Oh, okay. Like so it's so cool. Yeah, really, really okay, strong. Yeah, yeah. And it's all there. So that's, do you remember you were saying, even in wet conditions, the car's really compliant. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. sneak up on you because look, low down, the torque is, there is quite no, yeah. quite weak. Well, I say weak. It's obviously Lambie. You've done that deliberately, and it's really up top end. Look, five and a half thousand 
RPM onwards is when you're making peak torque and then power really takes and off. I, I'd say from driving it, that's, that's bang on. Yeah. It's about four and a half, five is that's where awesome. you notice it start to... Yep. It, it, it's almost like it comes on to another... Another yeah. cam one. Almost. Well, it like you get it to that of, point it'll be and the it just goes. goes. It'll be the variable oh, yeah, timing. Yeah, okay, it'll be yeah, that. Exactly. That's where so. everything lifts up. Boom, all the air. And then obviously it's got all the litres. Well, fair play. You guys, once guns. again. There is our figure. 627.83 horsepower. Tim, And not only rounds to 628. <laughs> yeah, if you round it yeah. up, Tim was back on the money. Well done, Tim. Normally we'd do a video call with him at this point, but given the time zone, he's still in bed, so... Um, cool, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Wake him up. laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Either way, thank you, Anthony, for, for running no, this. Thank, uh, thank you, guys. Like I say, it was a last minute thing. I just messaged you guys and were like, STO, Dino, question mark. You, you literally you did Saturday, just message me two days ago. And I was like, ago. yeah. Brilliant. You messaged me two days ago and went, do you want to bring yeah. it down? I was like, so this yeah, is, if anything, like, you know, thank you very much to you guys because this is more for me than it is for you. Yeah, but it's fun. We get to hear V10. Everyone yeah. watching gets to hear V10, and yeah. we get to go and experience more of it on our way home. So that's going to be. We do. We get to go back fun. and enjoy the burn and bends. And now yeah. it's a bit drier, a bit warmer, yeah. so mm -hmm. we should be able to have a little bit more fun on them too. Time to head back. So we've got the numbers. Anthony's been out for a quick test run, and he absolutely loved it. I'm not surprised. This is a bit of Anthony all over. Let's be fair. Loud, shouty, turns in really well, handles nicely. Yes, it's stiff, firm, bumpy, but Anthony likes it. So. Someone has to. Right, anyway. so let's jump in. I've got to put the tripod away. Um, where are we going to put that? <laughs> probably back in the footwell where it was. Okay. There's not much storage. I'm but guessing you want some noise. Yes, please. There it is. Oh my. Time to roll on out, which means a little bit of noise as we leave. And apparently not much traction. No, no. <laughs> you can feel that just like tinkling away behind us trying to yeah. keep us just trying to slip and the traction control trying to say no um but yeah it's always a lovely visit to anthony's when we come so always every single time there we are back towards the burn and bends where we can have some more fun and test some more of that traction so we just had the worst thing ever happen we've had a grist to go past us luckily we were doing about 20 miles an hour we managed to stop for him to come past um would have been nice if he turned his machine off but I guess he's, he doesn't have to so he's not a fan of Lamborghinis and therefore decided that he wanted to pepper it yeah well at least the roads should be less slippy because they don't have loads of salt on them which is great they do but actually look a bit damper than when we arrived yeah well this, well, they, this still sounds like that so we can't complain at all no, it still sounds absolutely phenomenal just to play with the gear shifts over and over and again, right? I think Tim summed it up quite well on the way to petrol hedonism when Schmark 150 was driving this. Anyone you put in a Lamborghini becomes a Lamborghini driver. Yes, it's <laughs> just... I, I can't disagree, good fun. But anyway, we are making some good progress. I guess we will see you at this museum when we get this parked up and put back to bed. Tom's nose are uh, our worst nightmare. A gritter, you can only, you can't really see, you can see the flashing lights, there's a gritter up in lane two up ahead. Gritter in the road, you can probably see it sort of, I guess, a little bit like a sandstorm going across the road. Yeah. Not fun. Salt um, storm. A salt storm, yeah. We're gonna basically sit back here now a lot slower than the speed limit just to stay out the way and not have to go. Can we come out of Trafair, please? Because <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, we can come at no, we can. Yeah, we, we can. should. It's so bumpy on this bit of, of the M25. Sorry, well, we were the previous clip, as you would have seen, we were doing the noisy, poppy, yeah. bangy, yeah. so it's still in travail. No more, please. But yeah, we're going to sit here super slow now and basically not. I mean, that's, that's how this slow, slow we're slow. coming. Being overtaken by trucks, we don't want to be anywhere near the gritter, so we're going to sit back here, relax, and then, yeah, then we will actually get back. Ah, and we're back. I'm surprised that didn't go off. I, so am I, because I'd rev the nuts off of it, and normally that 
goes nuts. But I feel like it's the frequency of a V8 with that, because it always seems to be the V8s that set it off. You say that, but Ford GT set it off as well. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe the V10 is just too, too high frequency. Who knows? Yeah, it is a very high pitch. It's not a very bassy engine, so. Anyway, we're waffling. 628 horsepower. Confirmed on the rolling road. Well done, Tim's guess was correct. And mine was wrong. And you just refused. You refused to make one because you knew this was going to happen. I just, yeah, I just didn't know. I, do you know what? At that point, I didn't even remember what the like given figure was for it. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> you lot have your guesses and we'll just see what comes out of it. This thing is absolutely caked in mud. Like I said, this is no longer Viola Bast. <laughs> this is Viola Brown because this thing is just, yeah. Filthy. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going to need to call someone in to come and have a look at this at the SLS, at the SF90, at the GT500, at the Clio, all of these things that have recently been driven and haven't yet been washed. Yeah. So we will get on with that one shortly. But for now, all I guess I can say is I hope you guys have enjoyed today as much as we have. And oh, lots of glorious V10 noises. Bit of a Lambo day. Some flames, bit of a Lambo day. We obviously had the Hurricane Evo that we passed as well as the SV, which as we kind of guessed on the way to Gad, Anthony had invited down to come and join us. And yeah, we had John there with his crazy M5 as well. Yeah, that was loud. Yes. But it still hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, so huge thank you to all of the guys at Gad. Thank you guys for watching once again, as always. And until next time. <laughs>